trouble today is that. And that is because when you turn the tap on and off, you're putting pressure at the gates here. I've tried to fix it before, but I should give that a go again. I guess I should wait for it to stop raining. The sun's come out, it's dried off a whole lot, emptied the tank, got it out of its position, flipped it upside down. It's an HDPE tank. I've got some spare HDPE from an old milk container. I'm hoping I'll be able to make a patch to cover that split um, and then plastic weld it in place, I guess. But we'll see how that goes. So here we can see the crack much better. It's all around this bit we saw earlier. So I'm going to remove all of this, clean up this, clean up this, and then see if we can make a patch. That's the main bit we need to fix. So we're gonna go for something, something like that. So if we do that, and I melt that into place, and then we put a patch over the top as well, it's gonna work. Let's find out. Right, this might be a terrible idea, but let's see how it goes. I don't think this is working at all. mess. Did it actually fix it? Let's let that cool down for a moment and then try something else. Right. Let's also try this. So probably wants to go It's not quite working is it? done the same on the inside of the barrel and there was a little spot coming through from the crack but I think it was a hole. Well, I've done a little bit of plastic welding on the inside and I think that's fixed it. I think I'm going to skip trying to put a whole patch on because I don't think it's going to work but I am going to change the tap for one that doesn't put quite so much pressure when you turn the handle. I have this new thread and I'm going to chuck some all-purpose siliconite. This is going to be on the inside. Oh, I'm just going to put some of this glue. Okay. 
same again on the inside, but I can't show you that because I can't get the camera in there. It's got a different type of nozzle to go on this thing, which is going to be this one. There we go. And then I was going to screw this in like that. Another raised and another bit. And then maybe support this with this that will stick out a little bit. still leaking that didn't entirely work i've still got a small leak around here somewhere Here's the thing. i can do this Definitely having an effect. Right. So we want a bit like that. Because it's so thin, it's just not taking properly. So Here's where we're at with using the iron and using some baking paper so it doesn't stick to the iron. I think these bits where it's darker or it's actually bonded properly, these bits where it's lighter, I think those are just air cavities. So I think we've got good coverage all up around here, which is where the leak was. Up here I'm not so fussed about. And then down here we've got a good one across here and around. I think, I think we're good to test it. It's still leaking. Less snow than it was before, but still leaking. I found this other stuff that's twice the thickness of the milk carton, and that's from a softener detergent bottle. I think that works much better, because I can kind of, what I'm just doing here, lying it roughly where the hole was, hold it in place with this, trying to do is heat it up so it turns this sort of transparent consistency it's like jelly consistency and then let it carry its heat through to the stuff beneath it and then hopefully it'll stick I also found this other nib which is more of like a edge to it I think the stamp wasn't great
just hold this here like this for a bit. Certainly put a lot of extra material down. So I think that looks better. Pulled some water down from the big tank, so it's just above the tap and where we fixed it. So it's not pretty, but I can't see any leaks. <laughs> 